was my first year. I was going to do it in 2020, um, but we did not have a show in 2020. So 2021 was my first year uh, running a cosplay contest. The cosplay contest works by signing up the day of. So for the adults, that is on Saturday of the show. You can come sign up in the morning and we have pre-judging. So we're looking for some of the qualifications that you've made. Um, most of your costume that uh, it's within the guidelines. Looking for craftsmanship, um, how well the costume is made, how well it represents the character, how you portray um, the vision, if it's a unique character or a um, original design. And then we have the costume parade later in the afternoon. I would say as with any position, it has some of its stress points. Um, Obviously, you have people who don't always agree with the decisions that you make when you're doing the prejudging, as with any, like, similar thing. Run the risk of hurting people's feelings, which sometimes can be uh, kind of stressful and difficult, but all in all, most people are pretty uh, understanding and the, the most stressful thing is lining everybody up for the show at the end of the day to get everybody in the right spots and hope that the names are pronounced correctly. So I've always been looking for an opportunity to kind of join the team and I saw a posting on Facebook for a position and kind of as a joke I applied and oh crap I got the position. <laughs> I just think I saw it advertised somewhere I thought that'd be a fun thing to be a part of so uh... I'm mostly retired, but I figured, well, you know, I have a Batman theme basement, so I figured whatever money I make, I'll spend on merchandise anyway. So. I was kind of nervous to come here, but um, it's really fun. Everyone's nice, and I really like it. Yeah. Organization is huge. People don't understand that it takes a full year to do, or more, to do one event. So one weekend is going to take a lot of patience and organization. It's a people thing. So you gotta love people, you gotta love working with people, you gotta be organized, and just have fun. Absolutely love it. I mean, it's just, it's a great time. It is a blast. Like, this is one of those things that I can only ever dream of doing, and fortunately enough, I, I was able to join the team, and I, I get to spend time at the con and see a lot of the vendors that I've come to know, and get to hang out with the wonderful staff, so it's it's so much fun. So I think that it would be really good to start out as a yellow, one of our weekend warriors, a yellow cape person. Um, that's a good entry point. We have positions that are um, assistance to our programming managers and to our department managers that will 
give you even a little more taste. There's a little stepping stones. Um, but yeah, I would definitely start out as a yellow cape. Everyone's just real friendly, everybody's family. And if you find somebody that doesn't have a family, you just bring them into your own family. One of the reasons that I enjoy doing Comic Con and working here and attending is being able to get together with like-minded people who enjoy the same books, uh, movies, TV shows, and kind of express the nerdy side um, that I don't normally get to do in day-to-day -day life. Um, I've enjoyed sewing and crocheting and knitting and kind of being able to do, make costumes through those skills and the cosplay contest just seemed like a natural fit to be able to take on that role. One of the things for me uh, that I'm looking for that determines a really good costume um, that kind of sets it above and maybe puts it into one of those higher categories to earn uh, one of our prizes would be the looking at the craftsmanship, seeing the details that you put into the costume. So personally, I do a lot of sewing. So seeing somebody who's technique, um, whether it's painting or sewing or armor building, seeing that technique and all of the time and effort that goes into that, rather than just, oh, I bought all these things and put them together, but seeing that craftsmanship is something that really stands out to me. go to like book premieres and movie premieres and we just kind of dress up and didn't realize it was a thing and after we'd been doing that for a couple of years and then the first Grand Rapids Comic Con happened I found out that it was a thing and it was called cosplay so we just kind of dove in. <laughs> if you come out and you're like just having a good time whether you're in character or out of character that's what really sells and makes a good cosplay. Two years ago for Dragon Con, we did a World of Warcraft group and I did Ysera. I have about 400 hours wrapped up into that cosplay. Um, the whole thing was handmade, lights. Um, I made my first ever smoke machines by myself, so that, that one was a uh, Quite a, quite a long project. <laughs> I have not spent nearly that much time. <laughs> I cosplay as a really tired, middle-aged man every day, and I nail it. 
today we had about 65 individual entries and about 10 group entries and I'm really excited to see the audience reaction after we did the pre-judging this morning to those and it sounds like I've got to go so Best group prize. It's gonna be Mando Harley Quinn. It's been a joy announcing all on stage. Finally, we did get all in one place and seeing all the great work. Enjoy the rest of your Comic Con weekend, everybody. Good night. Uh, my favorite aspect about working here is all the people I work with, all the staff members, all the weekend warriors that make this a spectacular and eventful con. Everybody loves coming to. It's awesome. We, we're like family. I love everybody that's on our staff with us. I can't wait to do this again in, in the summertime and I can't wait to hear from them. Man, you know what? The same thing that makes everybody start doing Comic Cons, you, you discover this Willy Wonka's world of crazy wackiness and you, you get addicted. And obviously, if you have a skill set that complements the, the environment, you're like, man, this is where I want to work every day. So that's what I decided to do. What do you think it takes to work at Comic Con? Um, good shoes. Starbucks. Tim Hortons. <laughs> Starbucks or Tim Hortons? Tim Hortons. I'm gonna go with Tim's on that one. I just saw that Tim's coming out with like Tim Beebs instead of Tim Bits or something, and I'm a believer, so I'm gonna go with Tim's. This is my second box of water, and I haven't enjoyed water more. <laughs>